Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Railroad Corporation Strategy and Tactics Episode 6. So this is part two of our third mission and we've got uh, our, uh, our route has been sort of uh, expanding and slinking along here, uh, doing, uh, doing, doing pretty well for itself, if I may add. Now, there's a few uh, few things that we, we want to sort of uh, start getting into uh, now that we've uh, built up an appreciable income. Um, and that is the, um, uh, the steel mill. Um, we've we've got some we got some things to do with the steel mill here, uh, so we want to start doing them a little sooner rather than later, because uh, we got bigger plans um, uh, for that. But before we get into the steel, I promise we'll get to that this episode. There's a few more cash generation refinements that I want to set up around here, because I, uh, I I see a few more routes that uh, could uh, be quite nice, and that is. Look at all this, uh, look at all this post office here. Mail, and we got mail over here for Springfield. And this is a decently long route. Now, the downside is that it is uh, across two different rivers. That's sort of the cost of admission here. Um, that's why I didn't tap into this sooner. But now that we have some cash, um, do we have a, a bridges guy? Well, we got a rails guy. Rails guy is good. I'll give you the rails guy, but oh, and our iron ore guy is still around. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. This guy is actually pretty cheap for what he does too. All right, you know what? Let's uh, let's expand our HQ because um, we need more room in our. Um, HR department. Yeah, we need upgrade, expanded HR department. We will pick up Mr. Iron Ore before you go the way of the dodo. Uh, we'll pick up Mr. Gervais. And we'll pick up Mr. Rails. That works out. All right, so we've got that in the, in the bag here. A few other things that we want to buy and upgrade here. Let's just wait for you to drop these off. We want to get you up to the level three so we can get an extra track out of you. We want you up to level three so we can get an extra track out of you. Um, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna grab this, and yes, we're going to make a second bridge. I don't want them sharing this bridge. Um, these are going to be um, John Bulls, because it's again back and forth here. So I'm okay with a 55 uh, or 56 uh, mile an hour uh, speed limit. Too big of a slope. Oh man, look at that soil cost. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. We we want to approach you from this. We want to we want to come out this this angle here. I need you to be about this, about this much. It's going to be an epic bridge, but it might cut down on the soil costs doing it this way. Um, and I am going to uh, blast through this just because I, I want to hook up Salisbury uh, for for an alternative uh, an alternative reason. But I also, um, well, actually that didn't spawn a tunnel, but that did spawn a crap ton of soil excavation. Yes, it did. All right, you know what? Actually, we can bypass Salisbury for the moment and then build into it for uh, what I have in mind. Because right now we have a... Well, actually, this might be a good angle to approach. Yeah, we'll have to eat the tunnel. But that's okay. We can eat a tunnel. It's just going to be a small one anyway. A uh, $7,000 tunnel. A uh, $4,000 tunnel. Uh, 
Uh, I wish you'd like start the tunnel sooner. Well, that's cheaper than the tunnel. It's slow going, but again, we're we're dealing with the uh, John Bull here, so we don't we we're not expecting a speed demon. It's kind of a wonky way to fit, but I'll take it. Well, that soil guy is paying off more than I realized. All right, I'll take it. All right, so now with you on board, let us get a John Bull. Yeah, I'll take it. I didn't, I didn't shell out all of that just to not start using them. Um, actually, you know what we can do? Let's do a, a one-off route. Just pick up those six people, dump them in Albany. Oops. And then we'll start the route proper. Leave, leave no leg unwasted here, or unused rather. Because no one else is grabbing passengers really from Utica, so it's okay for us to empty it out. And hey, if that spawns more growth in Albany and or Utica, that's uh, all the better. Now, one thing I'm not sure of is um, if taking supply away encourages growth or if it's only the delivery of things to fill demands, if that works. I'm not sure which, which one is which. Okay, so we can get rid of you. We can get rid of you. And we might as well, since we've upgraded this place, get the repair shop and the cheaper maintenance. Coal warehouse. Coal warehouse. And a coal warehouse. And I guess faster maintenance. That's my favorite level 3 build here. All right, so that, I mean, that's just pure profit right there. We're not, mo we're not moving and shaking any of our stuff here, but that's still, uh... and there's, there should be enough production of the postage in both of our towns that we could just keep this route up full bore. Now, the other uh, route I had in mind that kind of tied in and why I bothered going into Salisbury in the first place, um, although it probably is going to costed me enough, is we're going to splinter you off. I'm not going to bother building you up to, uh, to obscene amounts here. Yeah, that works. Can we go over this without a billion dollars in, in excavation fees? That actually kind of works. We're gonna, we need to swing wide here in order to get in there at an appreciable speed. 26, 27. Mm. Yeah, this is just at a wrong angle here. 26 miles an hour. I mean, that's not too bad. Um, it's going to slow a backswing a little bit, but that's okay. Because what I'm going to do here, this is just going to be a single coal mine that's going to feed the coal demand for Hartford. I'm not going to bother buying the coal mine because this, again, it's just one city. And because it's a single route there and back again, um, I'm not going to go crazy in terms of... Uh, um, uh, I, I'm just going to get a best friend. We are, again, we are making use of all the uh, all the locomotives here because they all have their own niches here. And now, as far as our first uh, trip down there, um, yeah, let's pick up some passengers. Um, is there anything else worth picking up here? How much would a fourth pass? Yeah, no, that would do bad things. We'll do three passengers. 
Um, we can drop you off in Albany. And then we'll have you uh, take the trip, since there's a route to it, to the coal mine. And down there, that's where you will be maintained. And again, we might as well use it for the transportation. Even if it's just a singleton one-way uh, deal. And then we can just clip these two out of the picture and we'll be golden. Alright, we can clip these two and be off. All right, still cranking through here. All load locomotives lifetime has been completed. Let's start on that max speed because the Gervais is really kind of where I want it. Like once once we finish the uh, the the carry capacity of the Gervais, that's when I'm going to start getting into steel proper here. Uh, 47, uh, 4745 of pure pure profit. So not too shabby, if I do say so myself. And again, yeah, this is going to cost us 12, uh, 12 a piece, but we'll be making almost four out of it and not really worth buying the coal mine. I don't really see any other uses for it around here because all the other towns here don't, don't really want coal. You are waiting here to pick up the meat. And there you go. Excellent. And yeah, this post office is already filled back up again, so no con no concerns about the sustainability of that route. And then we got the full full boat of uh, mail going that way, and our money is going through the stratosphere. Beautiful. Um, you know, one thing we could do, since we've already upgraded this. Uh, well, hang on, let's check the labor exchange. Oil will cost less, eh. Wood, grain will cost less, meat will cost less. I already, the, uh, I own the, the means of grain and meat. Don't, don't, don't talk to me about that. Worthless. Let's, um, you know what, let's, um, uh, let's get in the expanded research department. Because that gives us five more scientists. Uh, which allows us to research another thing simultaneously. Um, three different researches. Is, is, is. Um, and actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go against my role and go fuel consumption max speed first and then get into power and then aging reliability and all that fun stuff. All right, Providence, how are you doing? You should be getting pretty pretty soon leveling up. I mean, maybe we don't need to go 50-50 on, uh, on those grain shipments, because, well, actually, you've waited for two to get this next shipment, so maybe actually that is the correct velocity, is to go every other and then supplement it with passengers. And your supply of passengers seems to be regenerating itself pretty nicely, so that works out nice. Max speed completed. Yeah, the max speeds are, um, unironically, very fast to complete. But it's the pulling mass that we're really, really interested in. And since it will be completing in nine days, our next phase will begin shortly. And we've got plenty of cash to uh, implement our next phase. Come on, game. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in ya. Yeah, six six grain is a good thing because all six are going to be paid at the top dollar. Once you get to like seven or eight built up, that's when it drops down the price by by one ratchet. But yeah, Providence should be growing pretty soon, and Hartford should be growing like a weed. Uh, given all the economic activity we're doing into it, we're pulling people out, we're, we're tapping the wheat field heavily, we're feeding them meat, we're feeding them coal, 
the Hartford should be growing quick. Right then, so let's uh, let's consider our uh, steel here. So we do need to get steel up and running, and we've got a couple of uh, stops here that will make that work for us. Uh, first off, we're going to uh, grab our other node here. This is why I wanted I was insisting on it coming out the bottom because I got I got use for the one that coming out the top. We we got we got another route in mind here. This is a nice whoops. Hold your horses. Let's undo that and resume because that's a little bit silly. And that should be good. Nice cheap long route. Bada boom, bada bing. Um, and then we need to, um, if you haven't guessed it already, we're going to build our steel mill right here. So let us construct a steel Steel mill. Bada boom, bada bing. All right, so now we need to get it iron ore and coal ore, um, and that will uh, that'll that'll be that'll be good stuff for us uh, in due time. Uh, actually, not in due time. It'll be good stuff for us right now. Um, now, yes, we do still have this uh, build a warehouse. This will be done soon enough. But I have a, a specific place in mind where I'm going to put the warehouse. For now, let's get our steel production going. So we want to kind of snake it through this little uh, this little pass over here. Oh, actually, we could probably snake it over the little pass over here. That'd probably be a little bit better. Oh, I wouldn't give for a bridges guy right now. Jeebus, that soil excavation dough. That soil excavation dough. What the heck did I do to you? Alright, that's still good. We might need to do a, a longer bridge to save on the soil excavation. Because if we do a long, longer bridge, it will stop at the height on the other side, and then we can save ourselves some nonsense. Now we are going to be having the Gervais uh, make this route, so we do want to keep in mind speed because speed is going to is one of the uh, one of the one of the good things for the Gervais. Like that 74's, um, 77's a little better. I'll 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 ex uh, let's see if we can't keep it at 120 or at least in the triple digits. That's better. Okay. Excellent. All right, so now we will be doing, our, we will be uh, introducing our railway to our new friend, the Gervais. Uh, and again, I can't uh, help myself here, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, hmm. Actually, one of the, so here's one of the, one more thing to buy here. And that's this other plot of land here. This, um, we, we want to make small, t actually, you know what? I better wait for them to actually ask me to build, yeah, the tool factory. I want to make sure we get that before we build it. So we're going to uh, uh, buy that and get the tool factory. This is going to use up most of our cash. Boom. And now we need to deliver tools, but that's going to be a, a while. But since we have a surplus here at the sawmill, let's make our initial trip with um, with the um, uh, deliver a couple of wood here to the tool factory, just to prime the pump, so to speak. Now, what? Uh, so the Gervais. Why the Gervais? What? What? What is our deal with the Gervais? Well, the Gervais is essentially the big brother to the DeWitt. Uh, the DeWitt, uh, as a reminder, is really efficient at one-way routes, <coughs> meaning it has a high top speed and very, very fuel efficient. The Gervais is kind of the same thing. Look at this, a 79 uh, top speed, and I think we still have one more research to go for to, to top it off even higher. The main difference is that your vase can pull quite a bit. Not as much as the John Bull, but it can pull quite a bit. 
So in, when you have um, uh, one-way routes that involve uh, larger or heavier sets of materials, that's when the Gervais comes into play. And iron ore, coal uh, ore, that's, uh, and steel, that's where this is going to be needed the most. Uh, so we uh, get this wood here, we get that wood here, um, and then we're going to um, go one, two, and a coal. One, two, three. We can carry exactly the recipe needed to produce two steel, because um, two iron ore plus uh, one coal equals two steel. Um, so we will then bring you over here, deposit two iron and a steel. And then we're going to grab the two steel that result. Well, we'll grab that in a moment. We'll, we'll get there. First off, first things first, let's have you prime, prime the uh, pump here. Springfield now demands whiskey and Providence now demands meat. Beautiful. Oh, that is a wonderful combination of uh, messages. Um, let's just get this route up and running first. Now you, my friend, um, you can actually know. Here's what we're going to do. You deposit one of your wood to City Hall and one of the wood to the tool factory. We're, you're going to 50-50 it in terms of who gets that lumber because yeah city hall's starting to fill up a little bit so diverting half of our deliveries here to the tool factory would not be a bad thing and the small fir farm is still churning and burning away here all right got plenty of those going excellent And look at this guy go. So on the empty backswing, phew, crazy, crazy, crazy fast. So that's why I say it's the, um, it's the, it's sort of the big brother of that. All right, we can clip these two. We don't need wood uh, anymore, but we can do. Is uh, pick up the two steel here and bring it down here to the tool factory and get your service on and then repeat the process. And that will allow us to start manufacturing tools. Now, one of the other things that they said here um, was um, Providence now takes meat. And that's wonderful because you know what? Yeah, we have a farm all the way over there, but we don't have a farm over here, but we do have a route to a wheat field. So why don't we build ourselves another small farm? And what we're gonna do with you is, well, we can actually get, um, we can get higher. We go down here and get another person here. And just have you not wait. That could uh, that could work out nicely for us. But here's the here's the thing. Um, uh, as far as what we're taking uh, from Hartford, instead we're not taking passengers there anymore. No, no, no. Oh well. Uh, actually, yeah. Do 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 that, please. Actually, I'm just going to cancel my changes here so we don't wreck the route. Because we might as well drop them off. But that'll be the last set of people we bring to Providence. We'll get you there. Because what we're going to do here at Hartford we're going to pick up even more grain. We're going to do two full shipments of grain, but this grain is going to get deposited here in the uh, small farm. Oops. Not you. You.
And then Hartford up here, we can pick up Pick up the yeah, the, pro, the one at Providence, and we can drop you off, and then again pick up at Hart Hartford. No, I'd rather drop off it. No, you're Hartford. You need to be unloaded. There, that's better. That's better. And yeah, we'll, we'll, um, you know, we'll take what we can get as far as the people coming back. We'll take wh whoever or whatever is available person-wise, we'll take them. Because it's more about the grain than anything. Okay, got that fixed. Sorry about that, folks. Just a little uh, train wonkiness here. But we should have the route the way we want it. So that should make the Providence route even more uh, profitable for us. And how is our best friend? Yeah, it's already pile. Even the best friend by itself is piling this stuff up. We, uh, we may need to find a different home for it in due time. But anyway, our steel route is doing its thing. And yeah, we're already cooking up the tool factory here. Um, cooking up our tools here, cooking up the small farm. We are, <laughs> they're both working simultaneously. So this is a nice and busy, busy, busy town. And that is four sets of tools. We, um, we, 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 we doing good. We doing good, but we still have more to do. We still have, we, we, we still got to take, uh, take this to the next level as it were. Now, as far as, hmm, as far as some of our other routes go here, we, we still have some considerations to make uh, as far as what we're going to do with the tools. Now, the eventual home for the tools is all the F away up here, Portland way up there that's where we got to bring the tools eventually and I do say I do mean eventually but there's a few other things we got to get going here as well one of the optional quests that they mention at the beginning um, is that you need to grow three specific cities nice and big Albany Hartford which we've been growing like crazy I have no doubts about our ability to get them going but also Stratford, this sleepy little town with literally nothing until we build something, needs to uh, needs to have something done to it to uh, spark itself economically. So in our next episode, we're going to be doing some long haul uh, transportation of our tools, uh, as well as uh, getting ourselves um, um, uh, set up to start uh, stimulating Stratford and growing this little, little town from uh, uh, 450 people to more. Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback so is welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!